What's up YouTube, it's your boy Mike here from People's Choice Gaming and today I have an updated 3 format Paris Prime video for you guys. This has been a highly requested, uh, corrupted video that people have wanted to see and I'm going to do something a little bit different for you guys today, something a little bit special and offer you a variety of 3 amazing builds. They're going to be for all different players, playstyles, and situations alike. First up, I have a Shred High Damage Crit build, which is my favorite. It's best for multi-kills and the highest of level enemies, and just doing the most damage. It's what you're watching right now. Then I have a Speed build I will show you guys, and then an AoE Thunderbolt build. I'm not going to go into great detail during the gameplay part of this video about all the builds, except the main Shred build that I like to use and that I consider the best. But when I get to the breakdown part of the video where I show you how to mod all these builds, I will explain more and go into detail about the other two builds. Now moving on to my Shred build. It's a lot like my old 3 format build, except I don't use Hammer Shot anymore, I use an Elemental Mod. Just because you do a few thousand more damage. And instead of using a full speed trigger, even though it does um, do more fire rate, the extra 30% uh, fire rate, like it... it gives you a faster charge time I use a full shred because puncture now works on all weapons and unless you're doing corpus or grenier that could be too scattered out for puncture which in that case you want to use a full speed trigger not shred the infested it works great on uh, mobile defense defense survival a Voban or other warframes with powers that can control enemies you know Bastille and vortex are just amazing uh, for puncture even with Vortex, you're going to be able to kill 3 to 5 enemies, as you've seen here, instead of the typical 1 to 3, you know, with just uh, you know, a regular build without Shred. Now, for your toughest enemies, definitely use my Shred build. You know, it'll do the most damage, and it's going to have the best usability. But for mid to low level enemies, like somewhere around 50-55, down to the lower end, where you're going to be able to one-shot them, regardless if you lose one of your damage mods or not, I suggest using either the speed build for a quicker playstyle, for a quicker playstyle and a higher DPS, or if you're on lower to mid level enemies and you have enough enemies that are grouped around you, then an AoE build works nice like Thunderbolt. You'll do less single target damage and you'll even do a little bit less overall damage, but at least you'll still be getting the kill and the AoE damage. Alright guys, let's go over the few different ways you can mod your Paris Prime. This time I'm going to change it up a little bit and I'm going to show you a variety of builds that are all really, really good. They're all updated, advanced builds. Once again, this is the 3 Forma Catalyst build like I've shown you in the past. And for you guys that don't have 3 Forma, I already also did a, just a regular Paris Prime video with just the Catalyst. And it was still a crit build. You're just not going to be able to use like heavy caliber, and you only be able to use you know one elemental, so you'll just be you know losing some of your damage. Now I'm going to start off with infested, and my favorite build, and also the build that's best for damage and higher level enemies. Now you're going to want to use either fire rate to up your charge time, or reload speed to pull arrows out faster. Fire rate is going to be the best. And instead of using speed trigger like I have in the past, I use shred now because the difference from 30 to 60 fire rate is not that much of a difference. And they've changed puncture so it works on bolt weapons now. And you can not just puncture in the same shot, but also carry the enemy at the end of your puncture with a physics impact, making for multiple kills. So shred is just awesome. And then get your full level uh, full rank serration and split chamber which is a must full hellfire and wildfire for your best elemental damage a full point strike and vital sense for your crit and do not take out wildfire to put hammer shot in like some of us for more crit because even when you crit you're gonna do less damage by about 2500 and when you're not landing a crit you're obviously gonna do even worse damage because hammer shot is just for when you crit and then lastly our newest mod is heavy caliber you want to go about 4 from the top, which is plus 105% damage and a negative 35% accuracy. This is best for damage with a balance between accuracy, so you can still land your accurate headshots. You're going to be able to play between short and mid-range, maybe up to 15 meters or so. 
basically you're going to be getting uh, around max 5k damage to 10k damage on headshots when you're landing crits which is really nice if you want to go all the way up with four formas you can do it but I wouldn't recommend it you have to be right up the enemy's asses because your accuracy will be so bad if you're more of a long range player like 20 meters and pass uh, 20 meters and beyond then go with maybe a six from the top heavy caliber and that would suit you better now for Grenier just take out wildfire and put a piercing hit in max rank and take out Hellfire and put a full Stormbringer in. For Corpus, take out Leave-In Stormbringer, max rank, and put and take out Piercing Hit and put in a full Cryo Rounds since Corpus are mostly shields. Now this is my favorite build and the best for all around and uh, you know just high. Well, mainly it's the best for damage and higher level enemies. Now for level like 55 and below you can take off wildfire because you're going to be one shotting even with losing about 3000 damage and you could put a full speed trigger on which is going to give you insane charge time insane dps like i showed you in the gameplay so i recommend that highly and i like to use that one too on level on mid to low level enemies and lastly since a lot of you like thunderbolt it is better than it used to be, but not as good as it first was when all the mods used to affect it. And it used to do thousands and thousands of damage. So, you can take Wildfire off though and put a full Thunderbolt on. But it's only 30% chance to proc. It's only real efficient when there's multiple enemies around the enemy you're shooting. And you'll do anywhere between 750 and like 1500 damage. Maybe 2000 if there's enough enemies. And that's like... Uh, just sometimes but mainly you're gonna be somewhere between like 750 and 1500 damage which is gonna be half as much as you would do with your wildfire and with your wildfire you're gonna do it every time whereas and also when you puncture the enemy you're gonna do that damage each time whereas with Thunderbolt it's just 30 percent chance and it's only gonna be effective when there's you know those enemies around you so the wildfire is gonna be best and it's going to be best for high level enemies but if you're doing enemies level 50 and below and you can and you can one shot without wildfire then thunderbolt's going to really be nice because at least you'll be doing the aoe but if you're just doing regular maps and the enemies aren't real close together don't put on thunderbolt so that's going to all going to be up to you and it's all going to be personal preference uh you know if you want to use that and those are the three best ways uh, I would mod your Paris Prime. Sorry I had to talk really fast, but it was the only way I can make this short enough and get all them variety of builds out. I hope you guys enjoy the fact that I've showed you a few different great ways to mod your Paris. Message me if you have any questions. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And share if you'd like to. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.